What is medical abortion up to 10 weeks? This short film has been created to provide you with essential information you will need to know if you are considering medical abortion up to 10 weeks at BPAS without ultrasound. During this film, we will explain the proposed treatment, intended benefits, risks and alternatives to these treatments. Sharing this information with you now means that if you choose this treatment, you will be fully informed. We will check and confirm your understanding of this information before providing treatment. Medical abortion is the use of medication to end a pregnancy. If the pregnancy duration is of no more than 10 weeks, these pills can be used at home. Medical abortion involves taking two medications, one to two days apart. The first is mifepristone and the second is misoprostol. BPAS offers this service via telemedicine, meaning your consultation will be completed over the telephone and the pills will either be sent to you in the post or collected by you at one of our clinics. This means you will be in the comfort of your own home for the treatment. This also means you do not need to come into a clinic or be seen face to face by a nurse, midwife or doctor. This means you will not have an ultrasound scan before your treatment. During the phone call, your practitioner will explain everything clearly and answer all your questions before you proceed with any treatment. A doctor will also review your medical records to ensure you are suitable for an abortion. There is also a lot of helpful information on our website and you will also receive written information with your pills. Most women accessing this service do so without difficulty. We will explain what to expect from your treatment, including symptoms and side effects. But if you are experiencing things differently to the way we have explained or written in our leaflet, our aftercare service is there to support you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Visit our aftercare section of our website for more information. What are the alternatives to medical abortion without ultrasound? Alternatives to medical abortion without an ultrasound scan include medical abortion with an ultrasound scan or surgical abortion. There is also the option to continue your pregnancy. If you are not suitable for medical abortion, then surgical abortion may be an option. If necessary, your practitioner will explain what happens during a surgical abortion at BPAS and provide you with the risks and complications for that treatment. What are the intended benefits of medical abortion without an ultrasound? Faster access to treatment because there is no need to have an ultrasound. No need to travel to a clinic unless you are collecting pills you are able to have your treatment at home. There's a low risk of complications, less than 1 in 100 overall. You can avoid surgery or invasive procedures in most cases. What are the risks with medical abortion? Medical abortion is a very safe way to end a pregnancy, but like any medical treatment, it has potential risks you must be made fully aware of before deciding to proceed with that treatment. Many people who have medical abortion at BPAS do not need to have an ultrasound before their treatment. Instead, we use the date of your last period to calculate the pregnancy duration and take some further information to make sure you have no other reason for needing an ultrasound. Most people tell us that they prefer this option. However, there are some risks with not having an ultrasound, which we must explain. Risks of having medical abortion without an ultrasound scan. The pregnancy could be further along than expected. This happens in about 1 in 1,000 times, in which case, the abortion pills may not work. You could have more pain or bleeding than expected. You may see a recognisable pregnancy and very rarely, if the pregnancy is more advanced, you may see signs of life. This is very rare 
and can be because of taking the pills when the pregnancy is much further along. Undiagnosed ectopic pregnancy, 2 in 1,000. Undiagnosed ectopic pregnancy is also a risk. This is a pregnancy growing in the wrong place, usually the fallopian tube. Fortunately, ectopic pregnancies are very rare among patients having an abortion. These are other possible effects and risks of medical abortion without an ultrasound. Expected effects of treatment Lower abdominal pain or cramping and vaginal bleeding are experienced by all people having medical abortion. Pain can be severe in some cases, requiring the use of strong painkillers, like codeine. Most abortions are complete within four hours of using misoprostol, but for some it takes longer. Light vaginal bleeding or spotting can continue until the next menstrual period, even if the abortion is complete. Side effects of treatment Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache, dizziness, fever or chills, 1 in 10. Frequent risks These are usually easy to treat and rarely have any long-term health effects. Retained products of conception. The pregnancy is no longer growing, but some of the pregnancy tissue is left behind in the womb. 2 in 100. Continuing pregnancy. Less than 1 in 100. This is where the treatment has not worked. Infection in the womb or fallopian tubes. 2 in 1,000. Significant or serious risks. These may require transfer to hospital or surgical procedures and may have long-term health effects. Hemorrhage. Very heavy bleeding. 2 in 1,000. We measure this by the number of large sanitary pads you are needing to use. If you are bleeding through more than two pads an hour for more than two hours, then this is too much, and you should seek medical advice from our aftercare service. Pregnancy being significantly later than thought by menstrual history, 1 in 1,000. This may mean the pregnancy continues. There is more pain or bleeding during the abortion than expected. You may see a recognisable fetus, or, in extreme circumstances, signs of life, 1 in 10,000. Psychological problems, variable. Death is very rarely linked to abortion treatment, less than 1 in 100,000 for all abortions. Extra procedures that may be necessary. Uterine aspiration. This is a surgical procedure to complete the abortion, 1 or 2 in 100. Blood transfusion, 2 in 1,000. Laparoscopy or laparotomy. 3 in 100,000. This is an operation that may need to be undertaken if you are having a complication that couldn't be controlled, such as a hemorrhage. Admission to a hospital for intravenous antibiotics. 2 in 10,000. Salpingectomy or salpingostomy. Operation to remove or open a fallopian tube to manage an ectopic pregnancy. 1 in 10,000. Hysterectomy. This is the surgical removal of your womb and would only be done in an emergency. 2 in 100,000. If at any point you decide to continue the pregnancy, it is important to know that there are risks associated with the medications used for medical abortion to the developing fetus. Misoprostol can cause birth defects and mifepristone can cause miscarriage. Next steps. As we have explained, medical abortion is very safe, but like any medical treatment or procedure, there are possible risks, complications, and side effects. You have now completed the first part of informed consent for medical abortion up to 10 weeks without ultrasound. At your consultation, we will ask you if you've watched the film and 
check your understanding of the information we have shared about the treatment, alternatives, benefits and risks. Please feel free to view this video as many times as you'd like. You will have the opportunity to ask any questions you have at your consultation. BPAS has been taking care of women for more than 50 years. BPAS. Here if you need us.